guys welcome to my channel so today i filmed this purple pink blue look i just felt really inspired because summer is almost ending and i still wanted to play with the summer colors i paired it with the pink lip this is ColourPop clueless so if you would like to see how i got this makeup look please keep watching also remember to subscribe below uh, you could also turn on your notifications if you want to be notified when i upload videos also, can we take a moment to appreciate this highlighter? This is from the Carly Bible palette. It's super affordable and just look at it. Just want to bathe in it. Alright, please keep watching. So to begin, I'm using the Modern Mattes palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm using the light brown shade at the top. Uh, this is going to be my transition shade. It's going to be a really great base for the other shadows I'm going to put on top of it. So I'm just using that and blending it into both eyes really well um, until I reach the perfect shade that I want. Next I'm using the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. This palette is so beautiful. I'm picking up the light orange shade in the top row. I'm going to start blending that in my crease. Uh, I'm going to use this on both eyes and I just need to continue blending this um, until I reach the perfect shade that I'm looking for. So once I'm done blending that purple shadow into my crease, I'm then picking up a purple shadow from that same palette and I'm going to blend it into both eyes. It's a really nice light purple metallic shade. It's really great for the purple holographic look that I'm going for today. Um, and also purple complements brown eyes really great i absolutely love it so once i'm done blending that purple i'm just picking up the bh cosmetics modern mattes palette again i'm using that light pink shade in my crease so i'm using it a little bit lower than where i placed that purple it's gonna help intensify the holographic look that i'm going for um can we also appreciate how beautiful this palette is and it's super affordable. Next, I'm going back into the same palette and I'm taking a little bit of the blue shadow and I'm just packing that into my crease as well. I think blue, purple, and pink is an amazing combination. And yeah, I just wanted to intensify the look a little bit more. So next, I'm just packing in a little bit of black shadow on the outer corners of my eyes. I think this is just gonna help the pull the look together. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of black shadow from the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and I'm just packing that into the outer corners of both of my eyes and this is gonna help intensify the look a little bit more. So next I'm going back to the Galaxy Chic Palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take that two blue shades and pack it into the inner two thirds of my eyes. This is going to help to brighten the look. Um, also a little bit later on, I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter blue and I'm going to put that into the inner one third of my eye just to make the look pop a little bit more. So once I'm done this eye, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. So I'm going to place that blue shadow into the inner two thirds of my lid um, just to make it look like the other side. Also, can we take a moment to address the fact that I sound like I'm a five-year-old child? I know, I've always had a childlike voice, but I can guarantee I'm an adult. Alright, so let's move on. So next I'm just picking up the foil eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics. I'm taking the light purple shade and I'm just going to pop that in right in the center of my eyelids. It's going to help to make the look pop a little bit more. And then I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. So after I was done, I took a clean blending brush and I blended everything in together. Um, that way I could see what the end result was. I then realized that I wanted the crease to be a little bit darker so I took a bit more of the dark purple from the palette and I just popped that into the crease um, on both sides. This will just help to make it look more intense um, and a little bit more dramatic. So 
so next I took my NYX eyeliner pencil in black and I'm just gonna tight line the upper water line of my eyes this is just gonna help make my eyes look a little bit more intense and make sure there's not any gaps because for this look I'm actually not gonna wear false lashes because my lashes are already really long so next for mascara I'm using the Estee Lauder mascara in black this makes my eyelash look so long um, I just love this. I've been using this for quite a while now and it's my go-to mascara. So I actually did my eyeliner off camera because my eyes are shaped so differently that it's hard to do it on camera. My face hair is already uh, moisturized and primed. Um, I'm using the wet and wild photo focus uh, foundation in desert beige i absolutely love this foundation it's been my go-to this summer it matches my skin perfectly and it makes my makeup last all day long so i'm just blending that foundation out um, on my face it gives me a very airbrush look which i absolutely love so while I'm blending that out, I would like to know where you guys are from. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. So if you can please leave a comment down below letting me know where you're from. Um, yeah, so we can get to know each other a little bit. So also I'm just going to blend that foundation down uh, into my neck. Just to make sure there is no line between my neck and my face. Always remember to blend your foundation into your neck. Um, next, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape as my concealer. I'm using the shape medium here. So I'm just putting it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, um, a little bit on my forehead. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that out. You do have to work really quickly with this concealer because it's a little bit drying. However, it's full coverage and I absolutely love it. It gives you that really nice airbrush look after you've used it and it covers any imperfections that you may want to conceal so i'm gonna go on and blend the other side of my face make sure everything is nice and blended into my skin uh, once my concealer is all blended out i'm gonna use the maybelline stick foundation i'm not sure what the name is but i'll have it listed down below i'm using this as a contour shade on my face um, when I need something really quick and fast, um, as in a cream contour for my face, this is my go-to. So I'm just putting that on the side of my face, on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, and a little bit on, on my jawline. Um, and then just going to use my sponge and blend that into my skin. So this gives you this really flawless look. It doesn't give you that really harsh line. Uh, sometimes you can get that when you use some contour products but I absolutely love this as a quick contour shade next I'm just gonna blend out my nose contour as well just make sure it's nice and blended out once this is done I'm gonna use the Maybelline uh, fit me powder this powder is so beautiful it just makes your skin look really flawless so I don't really bake because my skin is dry, so I just pack it on. Uh, once I've done packing it on, I just take a brush and just sweep it around my face. So that way it can help to powder the rest of my face. So I also just put it into my smile lines because that's where I tend to crease a little bit. And here I'm just taking a powder brush and I'm just uh, blending that into the rest of my face. I don't like for it to sit and set on my face because sometimes it can get too dry and patchy. So next I'm using the Wet n Wild palette. I'm using the contour shade. It's the 2-in-1 so it has the contour shade on one side and the powder shade on the other side. So I'm just using that to bronze my face up on my cheeks, forehead, a little bit on my nose and some on my jawline. This is a really nice, affordable uh, bronzer for your face, and it makes your skin look really flawless. So here I'm just continuing, I'm blending that out. Just make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere in your face. 
Next, I'm taking this nude blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm taking the light pinky shade, and I'm just going to pop that onto the apples of my cheek. So I didn't want anything too, too dramatic on my cheeks, just a little flush of color. So I'm just putting that on my cheeks here. And can we just talk about how beautiful this palette is? It has a shade for every skin color. Next, I'm just taking my black uh, eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline. I just really like black on the waterline. It just makes my eye pop a lot more. I'm then doing the same thing on the other eye. Um, just keep in mind, if you don't want to do a black eyeliner, you can use any color of your choice. You can use a brown. If you wanted to do a blue or a purple, you can also do that. It's whatever you prefer. Uh, next, I'm just going to take the colors that I have on my eyes, so basically the purple, the blue, and the pink. And I'm just going to pack that really close to my lash line. Um, it's just going to help to make my eyes pop a lot more. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just carefully placing that um, along my waterline. So I meant my lash line, not my waterline. So here I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm just going to take those same colors, the pink, purple, and blue, and I'm just putting it really close to my lash line. I just want to help blend everything in together so it doesn't look uh, different from the top part of my eyes. So once I'm done this, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm just going to blend everything in together so that it looks very seamless. And it's going to help tie in the whole uh, purple holographic look that I'm going for um, in this video. Yeah, so here I'm just blending it out. Also, this uh, brush pencil that I'm using is from BH Cosmetics. It's a whole set that I bought. I think it's really beautiful. Also, um... I just realized I've talked about a lot of BH Cosmetic products in this video. I guess there is a reason why because it's so affordable and it's really good quality. Here I'm just taking the Carly Bible palette. I'm taking the light pinky highlight shade and I'm just going to pop that into my inner corners of my eyes. It's going to help make the look pop a lot more. Um, once I'm done this, I'm just going to take a little bit of that same shade and I'm going to put it on my brow bone. It's just going to help to highlight my brow bone a lot more. So I also forgot to mention I did my eyebrows off camera. So if you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows, just leave me a comment below. Um, next, I'm taking the gold shade from the Carly Bible palette. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks, on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. This highlighter is very intense. So at the end, I just took my uh, beauty sponge and I just toned it down a little bit because it was for daytime wear. But I absolutely love this palette. The highlighter is bomb. You guys should get it if you don't already have it. So originally, I wasn't sure what kind of lips I wanted to pair with this look. So I was thinking uh, since it's going to be fall, maybe a dark brown or a berry color to tie in with the eyes. However, I was really feeling a pink lip today. So I figured, why not? It's still the end of the summer. Just go for it. So basically, I paired it with a pink lip. Um, it's from the ColourPop collection. It's called Clueless. It's a, very, it's a very beautiful pink shade on my skin tone. So once I pop this lip on, um, it's basically the final look. My camera died at the end, so I didn't get to, or you didn't get to see me spray my face. So I just used some makeup setting spray just to lock everything in place. So be sure and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you so much for watching and lots of love to you guys.